folks, Paul's here. Welcome back to another Polymer Master video. And uh, with yesterday's developer letter announcement uh, of Steven and Lolan Sansosh coming to the game as the summer seasonal sync pairs, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to, you know, kind of speculate on who the other seasonal sync pair is. Because in their dev letter, they did say there's going to be a second seasonal sync pair uh, as well for, for the summer. And Steven is one, and there's going to be another one. Also, according to some other folks, um, who play the German version of the game, which, uh, and I can't verify this because I'm, I, I don't speak German, but, you know, some people have been saying that, um, in the German version of the Dev Letter, they specifically mentioned that, well, they used a, 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 a female pronoun for the other sync pair, so very, very likely the other summer, um, sync pair could be a female trainer. So, uh, let, let's, let's just go over some of these possibilities, right? Um, so first of all, before we get into the most obvious one, uh, I do want to talk about like one other um, sync pair that some people have been talking about, which is also a decent possibility, uh, which is this Misty, right? Um, the Misty, oh, sorry, like the image quality is terrible, but it, it's like data mine stuff. It's, you know, sometimes hard to find much better qualities, but the Misty on the left is the one that we have in the game right now. And when the game first dropped, there were also models of other units, right? Um, Sing suit units and stuff uh, in the game, like Brock, which was there at launch. Sing suit blue, which obviously was um, revealed during the six month anniversary thing, um, video, whatever. And then Sing suit Cynthia, which is there as well. Um, se uh, seasonal um, sea bad, which obviously came during Christmas, and also a uh, Misty, which could be a different version of Misty, although honestly this Misty kind of looks like a regular Misty just because, I mean, it's Misty. So um, again, you know, um, so I, I do think Misty is also a possibility uh, just to keep that in mind. As for Misty's uh, sync pair, you know, a lot of people have been thinking, oh, maybe Gyarados, right? Because that makes a lot of sense. Um, but, you know, Misty has a lot of different Pokemon, all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 a really big one that folks have been talking about. So, anyways, um, putting that aside, let's get into the one that has probably the highest probability of of um appearing as the uh, you know um as the summer sync pair. As there have been so many hints that they've been dropping throughout the year, for example. And I don't know why this screenshot is so large. Um, oh, it's because I enlarged it. Oh, never mind. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but. Right, if you guys remember, like the dialogue in the Pokemon Center, they've been talking about oh, which uh, color swimsuit that Cynthia went with, all that stuff. And there's like, there's, and this isn't the only occasion. There's like been like three different occasions where, where they've been talking about Cynthia and a swimsuit for some reason, <laughs> right? Um, so Cynthia obviously is another candidate for that um position. So uh, let's let's kind of go over what potential Pokemon Cynthia could have, um, if she is indeed a summer seasonal sync pair, right? AKA the swimsuit Cynthia. <laughs> so uh, first let's go into like some potential Pokemon she could have um, for a sync pair if they took from her team, which do keep in mind, like all the Cygnus suits and seasonal sync pairs so far, except for like one, um, which is red, um, aren't really generally Pokemon that you'd associate with, um, you know, the trainer. Um, like Brock has Try and Hard, which he does have in the world. I think the um, Black and White Two World Tournament, right? Uh, but like aside from that, like most of the other Pokemon, uh, they don't really. You know, it's kind of hard to associate with their, their you know, with their uh, training. Like, um, for example, the Winter Seasonal uh, Rosa and Delibird, Winter Seasonal uh, Seabad and Octillery, um, Rotom and Singsu Lisa, right? Uh, Grimsley and Charpedo. So it doesn't like have to be on their team and again like i mentioned before most of these units are not on the team like steven and alolan sandslash which they're not even you know i think most of them are are also not even in the same gen right um steven alolan sandslash obviously gen 3 character gen 7 pokemon uh slash n1 kind of but not really um uh you lisa with rotom gen 5 character gen 4 pokemon um Brock Gen 1 plus also a bit of Gen 2, I guess. Obviously, it's not as important in Gen 2, but uh, Gen 1 character, Gen 2 Pokemon, um, C Christmas Seabad, Gen 5 or Gen 6 character, Gen 2 Pokemon, 
uh, uh, Rosanta, uh, Gen 5 character, Gen 2 Pokemon. You, you get the idea, right? So uh, I, I don't think the possibility of, of uh, taking a Pokemon from Cynthia's team is, is really that high, but we'll go over them just in case. So as for Cynthia's team, um, the obvious like two candidates for a summer-themed um, Pokemon uh, or, or Sync Pair, seasonal Sync Pair, would be Gastrodon and Milotic. And Milotic is, uh, is already taken by Wallace, um, so very, very likely if they were to pick from Cynthia's team, it seems like Gastrodon would be a really good candidate for that, right? Fits the whole summer theme. Um, it's, it's water type and ground type, uh, so both kind of fit um, in, in that sense as well. And Gastrodon, uh, I mean, it's 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 a decently iconic Pokemon for Cynthia, I guess, just because you know it's also from the gen, um, and and you know it fits Cynthia really well, right? Um, so there's that to consider. As for like some other Pokemon that she's she's like had throughout the um, uh, the years and such, I guess you know Gen five, maybe uh, Electros, sorta. Um, I mean, it is a, a eel. It's not a water type, but it's kind of like an eel, I guess. So maybe, uh, again, you know, chances are of these aren't really high. Um, when she's down in Undella Town, um, a summer sync pair would, would fit very well with Glaceon. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, not Glaceon. Um, so yeah, I think those are like most of the ones that um, she could you know potentially have if it yeah, is a Pokemon that has been on her team, right? So I'm, I'm heavily leaning towards Gastrodon if they were to pick someone on Cynthia's team. However, like I mentioned before, um, it does seem like just the probability, um, in comparison to, you know, past Sigma Suits and Seasonal Sync Pairs, um, it seems kind of low that they'll take a Pokemon from her team. So let's look into some other options, right? Um, one option that I did think of, uh, was, uh, actually Alolan Ninetales, because, like, Steven got Alolan Sandslash, and Alolan Ninetales, you know, with the other Seasonal Sync Pair kind of makes sense, I guess, right? Uh, because Alolan Pokemon, you associate it generally with, the, you know, the islands, all the sand, sun, water, beach, all that stuff. Um, it, you kind of associate it with summertime, even though, like, it's, it's, you know, it's still sunny outside in the winter on in Alola for the most part. Um, but, yeah, um, Alolan Ninetales would be a good fit, uh, in my opinion. And also, um, one more thing to... Um, to to think about uh, if it is going to be a Lola Ninetales, is that Lola Ninetales is actually fairy and fairy and ice type, um, so they could potentially release swimsuit or whatever they want to call it, summer Cynthia, right, alongside a Lola Ninetales, and have it be super effective against the legendary event, which is coming mid. I think they said mid-August or something, right? The Palkia, right? Palkia is only weak to, what, Dragon and, and Fairy. And obviously, Fairy would you know, make a lot of sense right here, right? With a little Ninetales. And again, in con contrast to um, uh, Steven Stones or, or S Summer Steven's uh, Alolan Sandslash. And then, you know, Cynthia gets a little Ninetales, make it Fairy type. Plus, finally, we got a Fairy type unit in the game that hopefully is, like, semi-useful. Uh, because like oh my goodness, <laughs> we've we've been starved of 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 really really good um fairy units in this game for way too long, right? Um, and also do keep in mind every time they do release a legendary event, they also release a Pokemon or or a banner, I guess uh, that is super effective against uh, the Pokemon that you're facing, right? Um, and speaking of the legendary um event. Another theory that po uh, that folks have been talking about, which I personally don't really agree with, and I'll explain why later, is that a synth you know um, summer Cynthia could be paired with Palkia as the legendary event, right? Um, here's why I, d I don't think that's Pal you know what I'll just go over all of the points that other folks made. Um, people have been saying, oh, it fits a type, right? Um, it fits the water theme for the summer, and it fits the dragon theme for Cynthia because the Cynthia is dragon type. Oh, Cynthia's not a dragon type trainer because she literally has one one dragon type on her team, <laughs> and that's Garchomp. Um, like most of her team is not dragon type. She uses a variety of different types, and I I personally don't think that. Um, on that one note uh, alone, it, I I don't think it stands. Oh, I just saw the other spoiler for the other unit that I thought she could have. Uh, but yeah, um, just going over this. Um, 
I don't think that's theory stands. And also, they're gonna make they're they're not gonna give us a, like a free like summary. Come on, they're, they're like if they if they release swimsuit Cynthia, they're gonna make us like spend <laughs> on that banner. They're gonna make they're gonna make people spend on it, right? Especially right for the anniversary. Damn, they're 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 coming they're coming for our gems. They are coming for our gems. Um, so yeah, um, I I don't think it'll make much sense. Uh, there as well, and also again, keep in mind you need you still need a banner uh, with a unit that is super effective uh, against Palkia. So yeah, I, I I don't think there is there a possibility. Sure, I just don't think it's it's a really really good case to make it uh, with Cynthia and Palkia. Anyways, uh, moving on to the last um, you know you unit or uh, Pokemon I th which I think is a sleeper pick for Cynthia would be Relicanth. And if you're wondering what the heck Relicanth, why? Well, um, I personally think it fits Cynthia really well, and for the whole swimsuit theme as well, right? If it is going to be, uh, you know, swimsuit theme, the summer theme, right? Because I got first of all, it's water, and uh, Cynthia is her job is archaeology, right? Um, so she likes setting all this stuff, and 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 it it makes it, I I I do think it, it makes sense, right? Um, let me just double check. Uh, our Cynthia with um archaeology right uh i because i do think that was um i mean i mean obviously it's not like it's not like a hundred percent fitting because i mean you know Royal camp is is it's a pokemon it's not yeah actually an actual human or whatever but uh uh it, it, it's old <laughs> i guess i don't know um it, it's a fossil and and sorta it's not like a fossil fossil but yeah it's it's a really old um, Pokemon from the old time, so I think this could be a potential pick as well. Um, again, like mentioned before, it's kind of a sleeper pick. Um, I do think stuff like a little Nine Tails is probably more, um, you know, it's having fire higher possibility in terms of that. So there's that. Anyways, um, so that's my potential predictions for you know Cynthia Stinkers if she ever or, or Pokemon. Um, if she gets one right if it's Cynthia at all and there's also some other trainers that we could potentially go through and that's going to be these two right skyla and and iris since they were kind of sort of discussing this since they've also went to the uh you know caitlin's place and was swimming around as well i guess i just mentioned them just in case it's one of them uh as well right and as for skyla like if we're gonna go with you know again a summer Pokemon something a fly water flying type obviously you know the best option would be something like a, a Cramorant which is not gonna happen because it's Gen A Pokemon or like a Pelipper right but Pelipper is already in the game so just looking for some other water flying Pokemon Gyarados uh, like I mentioned before uh, with Misty is is a good option for for um uh, for Skyla another decent one is Mantine as well. Um, so it could also be that. Um, uh, again, she already has Swana, right? So I, I think those are those are okayish options for Skyla. And as for whoops, as for Iris, uh, there really aren't too many Dragon Water Pokemon, um, or any like you know Dragon Pokemon with secondary type that really fits the uh the, the summer theme, um, extremely well, right? Uh, I mean, I guess like maybe a lowland executor, maybe. Uh, there's that. The other two are like Kingdra and and Palkia. Maybe we get like a single suit Iris with Palkia, because uh, you know, just in case they want to save Lucas for Dialga or whatever, right? And Cyrus for Giratina. Then they'll throw like Palkia with uh single suit Iris. Maybe that's a possibility. Not single suit Iris. Uh, you know, Summer Iris. Um. Which, which, uh, here's the other, like, argument against the sing suit, or not, I keep on saying sing suit, s seasonal, uh, units being with legendary, um, or, uh, legendary event Pokemon, right? It's because, um, uh, legendary event Pokemon, they generally do reruns, uh, a few times each year, right? Um, so, the folks who missed out on these, on these legendary Pokemon, they come back and, and pick them up, right? Um, and... Seasonal sync pairs, on the other hand, only come around, we'd assume, right? Again, we don't have any hard evidence, but it would be pretty safe to assume it only comes around 
once each year during that certain season, um, seasonal event, right? And if that's the case, then it'll be really hard to rerun that event because, again, it is seasonal, and they do want to, at least DNA does seem like they want to um, rerun these legendary events uh, as much as they can so people who didn't get these uh, units before can, can catch up with it. The other water dragon is, you know, obviously it's another Gen 8 Pokemon, which... Uh, we can't really have. Um, as for some other ones, I guess we could look at some like Alolan Dragon type Pokemon, something like a Turtonator, maybe. Um, I don't think Drompa. I think if we were to pick between these two, I think Turtonator has a higher possibility than, than Drompa. Uh, Dragology, maybe. Uh, it's not Water type, but it is a Seahorse, kind of, sort of. So there's that as well. And uh, like I mentioned, for uh, Alolan Executor, could also be another possibility for, for um, Iris, I guess. So uh, yeah, anyways. Um, those are all my thoughts on this. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below for who the second uh, mysterious uh, seasonal summer sync pair uh, is and what their Pokemon could potentially be in the comments down below. Like and enjoy this video. Subscribe to your channel for some more Pokemon Masters content. Uh, I will be uploading the interview with Serena's voice actor later today, so check that out. Um, I asked her some pretty interesting questions. One uh, very... Uh, contentious question that you know folks have been asking a lot does Serena's voice actor approve of um, sh a shipping ash with Serena <laughs> stay tuned to find out the answer to that question so anyways uh, again thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one